Hey, Kelly, we've got Joey Leone ripping it up on the stage. You know, he's in here every weekend, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. You got to get down here and see Joey Leone. He's right here at the Outback Pizza. He's got the full band in here. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, no, you're right. It is awesome. And that's why I really can't follow up with much because, you know what? This transcends from, like, babies to grandfathers. <laughs> you come down to the Outback, you can have a great time. Joe Leone and the Bighorn Man, right? Absolutely. You know, he's got the full ensemble tonight here. He's got all the horn section. He's got all the boys together. We're rocking in 2011 right up here yeah. at the Outback Pizza. Which is, yeah, which is pretty impressive because I like to point out the fact there is no auto tune right now in this place. And I don't know how well this transcends into our microphone as well as that does, but this is fantastic music. There's no auto tune. This is happening live at the Outback as we're entering. That's right. So get on down here because 2011 is coming your way. We're going to be counting it down in just a few minutes, all right? It has to, oh. Outrageously good wood fire pizza right here at the top of the Killington Road. Well, I've caught up with Sarah and Todd. Sarah's all the way from Sweden. No, you're not from Sweden? Boston. Ah, oh, Boston. We love it. Darn it. Close, close to Sweden. How you, how you doing tonight? You're enjoying uh, my, the UFO Heffenweizen brewed here in Vermont, actually, I think. Did you know that? Yes, I did. You did. It's good stuff, right? We got a little Kim's helping you. Kim is like your, um, we're going to get Kim on here in a second. She's from Chicago, but she's like your agent, personal agent. She she said, Sarah's going to be perfect on TV, and you got to put her on, and she has a lot of faith in you. What do you think? Do you, do you have faith in yourself? I think Kim's a good friend. <laughs> Todd, you're from Boston too? I'm actually from New Jersey. I'm a Jersey boy. And how did you two get together? I'm not a Yankees fan. Not a Yankees fan. That's the only reason why we it work. works. You're at Boston. You got to be a Boston Sox, Red Sox fan, right? Yeah. You got to be. Okay. All right. Let's cut right to the chase. Uh, Sarah, I walked in. First thing I saw, your killer pants. Can we just look at? Come on, it's New Year's Eve. Look at those bad boys. Woo! You got a New Year's resolution? One resolution. Yes. What is it? Oh, you go first. <laughs> to be a better husband every day. That is special. That is special. Can you top that? I don't really have a New Year's resolution because I never stick to them, so I gave up a while ago. <laughs> You're realistic. Together, I want you to wish everybody in TV land a uh, Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year! Yeah. We love you, Killington! We all come here every year. Really, seriously, every year. One of the things that is extremely important, Slato, is on New Year's, have all the fun you want. Have all the fun in the world, but when your fun tanks are filled, make sure that before you start filling them, you have a designated driver, which is what we have right here. What's your name? Yes, my name's Deanne. Deanne? Yes. Deanne, and you are the designated driver yes, tonight, correct? And I'm happy to be that. She is, and you're drinking an ice cold water. Yes, I am. Because I am going to be on the first chairlift tomorrow when nobody else is there. I I know that you are actually. Exactly. You know, because you like you were on my show like 15 years ago probably. Exactly. You're on the first chair then too. Exactly. It's the best kept secret is skiing tomorrow. Yeah, it, it's actually very true. Actually, my boyfriend brought up a good point. He's like, we need to wake up early because no one's gonna be on the mountain. Oh, yeah. And I thought in my brain piece for a second, and I said, you know what? You're right. And Dan, you're a local, so you're. Exactly. Privy to this information. Exactly. And to be able to ski first chair on a Saturday with nobody else there and the weather tomorrow, what, 35? My sunglasses, no goggles. It was gorgeous today. And it's going to be, it's all hero so tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Now, Deanne Slato, yeah. obviously you and Deanne go way back. Deanne is uh, Killington's premier kindergarten teacher. I know there's a lot of kids 
who are probably a little bit grown up now. Thank you. Well, uh, as a who do you want to say hi to? One of them is here tonight, and I actually bought him a drink because he's legal. You're kidding me. This guy over there? Yeah, All right, I'm slide over sure there. That's not your child. Why, you right no, in? it's not, but someone I taught. Oh, it's someone you taught. I am. Being a, you are a former school teacher, right? Yes. Yeah, I teach you. I teach you. Karen Killington. What grade did she teach you in? Seventh. Seventh grade. This is awesome. She's taught me the absolute best things I know in life. What's that? Partying. Did she teach you the golden rule, though? Have a designated driver. driver. Absolutely. And we have two taxis, one in case it doesn't come, and the other one as a backup. So you've taught me well. Yes, there you go. That's true. That's true. Now, being that you're both locals, you also know that one of the best places to come for New Year's Eve is... is Outback. Absolutely. Outback. Oh, here. absolutely. Why else would we be here being locals? There you go. They know where to come. There's no reason to go elsewhere, so Outback is the place to be. Not only tonight, but every night of the week, so come by. Now, Dia, being that we started this interview with you, I would like to get a final thought for New Year's. Do you have a word, a saying, anything that comes to mind? I would like to say that whatever New Year's resolution you have for 2011, make it small and come true. Keep it simple. Wow. Dia!